Introduction Music Plays Shining Boss Hello and welcome to Why This? A debate show where we bring you the most intriguing topics to spark conversations and debates. I'm your host, Shining Boss, and today we'll be discussing why gaming companies provide updates on a monthly or annual basis and whether it's beneficial for them to do so. Cut to a shot of the panelists sitting on the couch. Shining Boss. Joining me today are our expert panelists. First, we have Lucifer, a gaming expert and a writer for IGN. Welcome to the show. Cut to a shot of the expert panelist. Expert, thank you for having me. Shining Boss. Next up, we have Rajiv, a popular Twitch streamer and a gamer with over 2M followers. Welcome to the show. Cut to a shot of the gamer panelist. Rajiv, thanks for having me. Shining Boss. Alright, let's dive right in. So, why do gaming companies provide updates on a monthly or annual basis? Name, as a gaming expert, can you shed some light on this? Lucifer, sure, updates are an essential part of any game's life cycle. They allow gaming companies to fix bugs, balance gameplay, and introduce new content that keeps players engaged. Gaming companies are always looking to improve their games, and updates are the most effective way to do so. Shining Boss, interesting. Rajiv, as a gamer, how do you feel about updates? Rajiv, I think updates are great. They keep the game fresh and exciting, and it's always fun to see what new content has been added. However, sometimes updates can be a double-edged sword. Sometimes updates can introduce new bugs or change the gameplay in ways that players don't like. Shining Boss, that's a valid point. Name, do you think it's beneficial for gaming companies to give updates on their popular games? Lucifer, absolutely. Providing regular updates keeps players engaged and encourages them to keep playing the game. It also shows that the gaming company cares about their game and is actively working to improve it. This can lead to positive word of mouth, which can result in more players trying out the game. Shining Boss, Shining Boss, as a gamer, do you agree with this? Rajiv, yes, I definitely agree. If a game doesn't receive regular updates, it can become stale, and players may lose interest. Updates also give players something to look forward to and can make the game feel like a community effort. Shining Boss, great insights from both of you. So, what do you think gaming companies should focus on when providing updates? Lucifer, I think it's important for gaming companies to focus on fixing bugs, balancing gameplay, and adding new content that players will enjoy. They should also listen to player feedback and make changes accordingly. Rajiv, I completely agree. Gaming companies should focus on keeping the game fun and engaging while also addressing any issues that players may have. Shining Boss, thank you both for your insights. It seems like updates are a crucial part of the gaming industry and are essential for keeping players engaged. That's all the time we have for today. Join us next time on, Why This? A Debate Show, for more interesting topics and discussions. Outro Music Plays. Shining Boss, thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. End of podcast.